and for my shadows the same thing if you want to see the effect just move your saturation up you can see the effect so i want to add blues to the shadows i'll just move my hue to blues like this to add blues to the shadows so if you look at the shadows area as the hair you can see blues are on the shadows so to reduce this effect on the shadows just reduce your saturation so i just reduce my saturation a little bit like this hello everyone welcome back to another amazing video my name is tony victor and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to color grade your image using camera raw filter after making my basic adjustment do my screen touching focus separation what i'm going to do next i'll just create a stamp visible layer by clicking on ctrl shift alternate e and it's going to create a stamp visible layer for me right here and next thing i'm going to do i'll just come to my filter i'll come to my camera raw filter so just click on it it's going to open in camera raw for me like this so this is my camera raw interface the first thing i'm going to do once i'm in my camera raw i'll come to my hsl adjustment layer so just click on it and you're going to see luminous saturation and hue so i'm going to be working with this three adjustment right here so i'll start with my hue so since skin to consist of red yellows and oranges i'm working on my red yellow and orange sliders and i'll just play with my sliders to get the result i want for this image so i want to get rid of the yellows on the image to make the image look as natural as possible so i just try to play with my red sliders so if i move my sliders to this side you can see i'm adding more reds to the image if i move it to this other side i'm adding yellows to the image so i'll just take my reds to a uh, negative let's say negative negative nine is okay or negative eight and next thing i'm going to do i'll take for my oranges i'll take it down because if i take it to this side i'm just adding greens to the image which i don't really want so i'll just take it to um negative six i feel it's okay like this you can see i've gotten rid of that yellow which i want so next thing i'm going to do for my greens i'm not sure there's any green in the image but i'm just going to play with sliders to see you can see there's no effect because there's no green i'm not really seeing any green on the image so next thing i'm going to do i'll come to my saturation i'll just reduce the saturation of the oranges a little bit like this because i feel it's too much so i'll just reduce the saturation if i take it the other way up i'm i'm increasing the intensity of the colors which i don't want so i'm just going to take it down a little bit let's say minus six is okay and for the reds i'll just take the intensity down a little bit again i think minus six is still okay for the yellows maybe i'll take the yellows up i'll take the yellows up a bit to let's say plus six and i come to my luminous so luminous simply means brightness so if i want the reds on this image to be bright i'll just move my sliders up and the red in the image is going to be brighter if i want it to be darker i'll just take it down like this and the red on the image is going to be darker so i think i'll just take it up a little bit because i want it to be a little bit shiny so just take it up to let's say 12 is okay plus 12 is okay and also for the um oranges if i take it down you can see what's happened to the image is um it's making the um, image look dark and dark so I'll just take it up a little bit to brighten it and make it look shiny a little bit. So I'll just take it to about, I think, plus 8 is okay because I don't want it to be too much. The next thing I'm going to do for the yellows, I'll just reduce the yellows. But I don't want the yellows to be too shiny. So I'll just reduce it. Or oh, let me just increase it. I'll increase it to about 11. So I'm just showing you a guide to color grade. So just follow my step and color grade your image where you want. This is just a guide. So after making my adjustment right here on my HSL adjustment layer, I'll come to my split tuning. This split tuning simply means if you want if you want to add a specific colors to the highlights and the shadows. So you can see the highlights right here. You can see the shadows right here. Why this balance simply means if you want the um, colors on the shadows to be much more pronounced or much more visible than the colors of the highlights. I'm going to be explaining this in a moment. So for the highlights, I want to add a little bit of yellows to the highlights. So I'll just move my hue to the yellows like this. So if I want to add greens, I can put it to my green. If I want to add blues, I'll put it to my blues. If I want to add magenta, I'll put it to my magenta. So if I want to add reds, I'll put it to my reds. So it just depends on the colors you want to add. So let's say I want to add greens, which I will not do normally. Once I put it to my greens, I'll just move my saturation to this side to see the effect, to make the effect visible. So if you want the effect to be more visible, just move your saturation up to be more visible. For this image, I want to add yellows to the highlights. So I'll just move my sliders right here to my yellows like this. 
and if i move my saturation up you can see yellows are visible on the highlight but i don't want it to be like this because right now i feel it's too much so i just bring my saturation all the way down to let's say four or six i think six is okay so i leave it in six and for my shadows the same thing if you want to see the effect just move your saturation up you can see the effect so i want to add blues to the shadows i'll just move my hue to blues like this to add blues to the shadows so if you look at the shadows area as the hair you can see blues are on the shadows so to reduce this effect on the shadows just reduce your saturation so i just reduce my saturation a little bit like this to about five i think five is okay i like it like this now for the balance if i want the um yellows that add to the highlights to be more more visible or more pronounced i'll just move my balance up like this and you can see the yellows are more visible and more pronounced you can barely see the blues on the shadows but if i want the blues to be visible i'll just bring my balance all the way down and you can see the blues are now visible so just play with your balance and see which one you want so for this sake of this tutorial i want my um yellows to be more visible so i'll just move it to let's say plus five or pl plus seven is okay I think eight seven is my sweet spot so i'll just bring it out to seven or eight so after that i'll come back to my basic and uh for my white balance let's say let me just play with my white balance sliders and see what happens to the image so for my temperature i'll just move it to uh warm i'll move the temperature to plus five which is warm if i take it to this blue side it's going to be cool and i don't want my image to be cool i want it to be warm so i'll just take it to the yellow side to make it a little bit warm so just move it to I think plus five is okay that's my sweet spot plus five is okay so i just leave it in plus five like this and let me play with my tint to see if i move my tints to this side i'm adding greens to the image which i don't want and if i move it to this side i'm adding magentas to the image which i don't really want so i'll just look for the sweet spot which i want and just put it there i think i'm just going to move it move it to my magenta side to plus one plus one is okay now to see your before and after all you have to do is click on this angle right here at the bottom to see your before and after so these are before and these are after so if you feel you're okay with the basic adjustment you just made just click on okay and it's going to bring you back to photoshop now these are before you can see how yellow is this image is and these are after so this is how you color grade your image using camera raw filter and if you want to learn how to color grade your image to get that dark melanin skin tone make sure to watch this video up here i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative